Today we're checking out the top 5 home screen tweaks for iOS 8. I've made sure that all these tweaks work on the latest version of iOS 8, so that's version iOS 8.1.2 at the time of recording this video, but if you're on an older version of iOS 8, these tweaks should work just fine as well. But enough about firmware versions, we're jumping into this top 5 straight away. Coming in at number 5, we've got a tweak called Color Badges, which changes the badges on your home screen based on a particular color in your app icon. So for example, you can see Reminders, instead of the badge being red, it actually took the main color white bean from the Reminders app icon and made the badge white as well. And you can see this on many app icons around my home screen. The main color on paper for Facebook with this theme was white, so it made the badge a kind of off-white color. Same is true for Twitter down below, and you can see Vine is the exact same way. In the preference panel for color badges, there are a few minor options that you can configure, but basically color badges just adds a way to customize your badges and make them match your icons on your home screen. At number 5 we've got Round Dock, which I've been using pretty much since the day it was released on Cydia earlier, well I guess it's not earlier this year, but back in 2014, which sounds like a really long time ago even though it wasn't. But as you can see on screen right now, Round Dock just rounds off the corners on your dock so it's not going all the way across the bottom of your screen anymore, but you can see that there are little curves, it almost looks like the Yosemite Dock. Like I said, I've been using this for a long time and I don't see myself taking it off any anytime soon. It's a really solid tweak and I've loved it from the start. At number 3 we've got a really interesting tweak called Slices and this got a lot of hype when it was released but I haven't seen a whole lot about it lately. Basically Slices allows you to have multiple user profiles on your iPhone or iPad or of course iPod Touch as well. But I just want to demo this right now and show you why Slices would be useful and hopefully this will help explain it better. Say I want to play Crossy Road, and you can see when I launch it up right now for the first, well not for the first time, but when I launch it up by default, you've got one user profile. And in the top left that you can see once it finally loads up, that I've got one score and 50 coins, and then if I get hit by a car or whatever to end the game, you can see that my top score is 32. But let's say that I want a friend to play and I don't want him to really mess up my score. Well with Slices, you can just head over to that preference panel, Tap on animate, not animations, tap on applications and scroll down until you see Crossy Road. From here you want to enable Ask on Touch or just create a new slice. Now I personally like Ask on Touch just because it works best for me. So now when I go back to my home screen it's going to ask me to create a new slice. New slice, my bad. And now I'm just going to name this default or personal because this is my own account that I don't want anybody else to use to mess up my score. Even though it's not very high I still take some pride in it I guess. And now, if I want to go back to the home screen, let's say a friend wants to use my phone to play Crossy Road. So now when I launch it up again with the Ask on Touch option enabled, it'll ask me, actually ask me to create a new slice. And I'm just going to call this one friend for the purpose of this video. So now when you actually create the new slice, it'll launch it up right away. And you can see that my high score and my coins are no longer available. It's actually an entirely different new slice is what the developer calls it of app data that is completely and entirely separate from yours. Of course this is just one usage scenario for slices, but there are so many places where if you just want your data to be separate from someone else's, but you still want them to use your phone at some point, slices is definitely the tweak you want to check out. At number 2 on my top 5 home screen tweaks for iOS 8 list, of course Winterboard had to be somewhere in the mix. If you aren't aware, Winterboard, well you probably are, but in case you aren't, Winterboard allows you to change the way your home screen icons look, it allows you to theme certain aspects of some apps, and I really just enjoy running a theme. Now I know many of you guys just don't like themes for whatever reason and you love the stock look of iOS, but for me, I just enjoy making iOS look different than it normally does. And at number 1 on my top 5 home screen tweaks for iOS 8 list, I have to give the number 1 position to Cylinder. If you aren't aware, Cylinder is a free alternative to Barrel which allows you to get really cool page turning animations on your home screen. So instead of your icons just sliding left and right which can get really boring after a while if you've used iOS for a long time, Cylinder allows you to not only just choose one effect like Barrel does, but actually combine multiple effects on top of each other and there's even new effects here that Barrel does not yet have. You can see just look at this massive list of effects that you can not only select singularly, but actually combine them to make these really cool combination. 
I believe there's either billions or trillions of combinations you can do with all of these. There's some crazy number in the uh, city of depiction for cylinder, which is hilarious that somebody actually <laughs> sat down and tried to figure it out. It is actually 35 trillion 184 billion 372 million 88,832 different combinations that you can make. Thank you very much for sharing that, Reed Welker. Anyway, guys, that is cylinder. It is an awesome tweak, and I think it well deserves the number one spot on this list. Those were my top five home screen tweaks for iOS 8. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. But if you want to see more content related to jailbreaking, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content that I upload here on my channel. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.